Hey, it's Julian. So I just want to give an update on my top surgery. So it has been a year and a third since I got it. So I just want to show you pro like progress in the scarring. So here we go. I'll tell ya. Now this is a huge change um, since <laughs> the surgery because it used to be super red and super bumpy whereas right now it's really not super noticeable and basically um, what you have to do is you have to put surgical tape on it like scar tape I'll I'll drop the link in the description um, not trying to get a sponsorship um, but you put that on and you change it every time it starts to peel off I'll tell you I was like super frugal with it so I really would keep those pieces on for as long as possible <laughs> and um, save little pieces if they fell off and it was kind of like a little mosaic all the time. And yeah, so and it still got to this point. Um, and you also have to massage it um, every day. So twice a day for like a few minutes, like two to three minutes, like you have to go like this. Sorry, I'm not used to this web webcam. So you have to really put pressure on it across. Same thing over here. It's crazy how much the bumpiness is gone. I'm just like remembering now. I'm amazed as I'm doing it now because it's been so long. And you also have to do around the nipples. Yeah, so you just, you do that for like two to three minutes a day um, in the morning and before you go to bed. Um, and there's no tape for the nipples. It's only this part. Um, and actually what I did just to keep the pressure really strong and like consistent, um, I used the back of my brush handle and just really pushed across, even on top of the tape. Um, though it was definitely easier when there were parts of the tape that had fallen off. Um, yeah, so I will say even today what's interesting is a lot of times I'll get up in the morning and it feels kind of like tight. Not, not in an uncomfortable way. Um, it's not really that big a deal at all. Also, I just have to say, if you hear purring or weird sounds, it's my cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sometimes in the morning, I just kind of go like this and give it a little massage. It's really no problem at all, but it is interesting. Um, and I will say this year, I guess last summer, summer 2021, um, I actually went shirtless to the beach, which was huge. It was like, I was so scared, but it was so exciting. And I like walked around and I walked into town. It was kind of like a beach town. And like, maybe some people looked at me. I think I could send some people looking at me, but I didn't really feel like the center of attention or like targeted or anything or any bad energy towards me. Um, but yeah, it was just very liberating, and I think I understand the free the nipple movement a lot more. Because <laughs> especially when it gets hot, it's just so nice to, like, be able to take my shirt off. Oh my god, sorry, my cat's trying to climb in the window. Stop it! Stop it! Get down! Get, oh, I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is a progress. Ignore the redness. That's from just now. I was too aggressive with it, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, one thing I'll just say is this is called the double incisions, like, um, surgery. So it's two cuts, one under each, like, breast, and then they pull it out that way. Um, and then they remove the nipples so that they could place them in a place that made sense. <laughs> but there are some people who are super lucky. Um, they're the ones who get the keyhole incision. I was close I wasn't close enough. That's one of the perks of being in the itty bitty titty committee or whatever. Um, is what they do, sorry again, getting used to the camera, is they cut off the nipple and then they take the breast out that way, then it looks like you never even had surgery. Oh, lucky suckers. No, I'm happy for them. So anyways, that is the review. I hope that is helpful. As always, drop any questions or comments in the chat. All right, thanks.